Hi everyone, here is the T26 1933 model in Spanish nationalist colours in 170 second scale from Mirage Hobby. The kit comes on six small sprues of varying shades of grey with no evident flash, a set of rubber tracks and the mouldings are sharp and crisp. Construction is straightforward. This was the first Mirage kit I have ever built and I must say I was pleasantly surprised by the quality. I had great fun with this one and I would definitely recommend at least Mirage's small armour kits. Construction, as I said, is quite straightforward and not unlike other 172nd armour kits on the market. Strangely though, the instructions call for some rivet heads to be removed in order to fit the fenders. I can only assume that there are other versions of the T26 that don't have the same fenders, but they're easily removed with a knife. The fenders themselves are quite a tricky fit, but eventually with a little bit of fettling, they're in the right place. Some of the smaller parts are fiddly, but they are well engineered and so the fit is quite good. The driver's station is made up of several small plates that butt together. I admit, I think I made a slight mistake here. The top of the hull is made of the main central box shape and a forward and rear plate and the only clean up on these is the sprue gates. Revel contactor takes a little bit longer to fix than some of the glues and so it allows more adjustment time. I find this quite useful on multi-part kits like this where there are multiple joining surfaces to adjust at once.
The main gun and turret are next. This is made in such a way that the elevation is fixed and although you won't be able to see it, it does have a handle. The engine cover is moulded separate and I think this may be done so that different variants can be made from the same kit, but the breakdown of parts makes for a quick build. At this point I had a serious fit issue with the driver's hatch. I can't imagine in that there have been at least a dozen different versions of this kit that this is a problem with the kit. I must have made a mistake earlier. Maybe the gap between the hull plates is part of the problem. Then the wheels. I'll use a cocktail stick to apply a small amount of glue before building them all up. Do, so this may take a while. The bogies are a two piece affair with the road wheels sandwiched between them. I was worried that I might end up with a seam line along the tops but the fit was again quite good.
The idler wheels were straightforward, but the attachment point for the drive wheel snapped off later when trying the tracks. I replaced this with brass rod that went all the way through the hull, supporting both drive wheels. I wanted to have a crewman in the tank, but lacking a Spanish tank commander in 172nd, I made use of a Zvezda border guard that I had spare. Spanish Civil War tank crews generally wore berets, so I removed the peak cap and used a half melted piece of sprue to form a beret. Once dried, I can remove the excess sprue at the top. The turret of the tank is brightly painted and so I gave it a coat of white first before adding the yellow and red. I like this departure from drab camouflage to have bright colours for once, especially the yellow and red together. The rest however is a sand and green pattern.
There are a few bits of course that need hand painting such as the exhaust muffler and wheels. The tank will be added to a small diorama base later, and sadly I didn't video the creation of that, but I was very pleased with it and you'll see it soon. I needed to cut the Nationalist Cross to get it to fit over the now opened hatch, but that was pretty straightforward and it's a straight cut. are on, it's weathered with a flooring wash and pastels and is complete ready to attach to its base. And here it is, the Mirage Hobby T26 in Nationalist Markets. Very happy with the way this turned out, both the tank and the base. I would definitely recommend this kit to anyone who likes 170 second armour, and I'll definitely get more Mirage armour kits in the future maybe even a few more T26s, because there are a large variety of different variants. So thanks for watching.